Out of the running, it's official. Stephen Laffey, former Cranston mayor and Republican Senate candidate, has announced he will not seek Governor Don Kachiri's seat. Eyewitness News with the latest on campaign 2010. Reporter Stephen Schuler joins us live with details on who is still in the competition. Well, Karen, this is the second time Laffey's told the media he won't be running, but after widespread speculation he'd still enter the race, the well-known politician made it clear he's out. Despite pleas from other Republicans, former Cranston Mayor Stephen Laffey won't be running for governor this year. In a statement, he says, To date, I have not seen sufficient evidence to convince me that the majority of Rhode Islanders are in favor of the kind of fixes that I know Rhode Island needs to save it from financial collapse. Laffey's decision leaves the Republican Party searching for a candidate. Chairman Giovanni Ciccione is now looking to Governor Kachiri's senior communications advisor, John Robitaille, as a strong contender. John, I think, is still very uh, serious and is very close to deciding. I think, um, if I had to guess, I think he will run a campaign for governor, uh, and I'm very hopeful that he does that. On the Democratic side, Attorney General Patrick Lynch and General Treasurer Frank Caprio are vying for their party's nomination, and former Senator Lincoln Chafee recently launched his campaign as an independent. Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming says the Republican Party needs to act fast to keep up with the growing pool of candidates. I would think in the next six to eight weeks the Republican Party needs to come up with a candidate, a standard bearer of that party, and start building their ticket. And we did try to reach out to Laffey for an interview, but he didn't return our calls. If you'd like to read his complete statement along with a PowerPoint presentation on his ideas for Rhode Island, log on to our website, WPRI.com. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.